So Nebu consulted us and the governors before starting agitations. The Rubamono tells Benin's government, that's Benin Republic, he did no wrong. King tells court in Kotono, a Yoruba monarch in Ilorin Kwara State, Oba Titus Suberu Ajibola has called on the Benin government to immediately release Yoruba activists. Sunday at the MOEK Sunday Bugu, who was recently arrested at an airport in the country's capital, Kotono. Ajibola, in a video that has now gone viral, said Igbo consulted him uh, and other Yoruba monarchs before starting his agitations, stating further that the activists also had the support of governors in southwest region. He pleaded with the Benz government never to grant Nigeria's government extradition request, stating that the activists will be subjected to torture in Nigeria. He said, Let it be named. Benin Republic King released him. Do not extradite him to Nigeria or to Buhari. Igbo is a good man before he started these agitations. He had consulted the Yoruba monarchs and we were not against it. Even the governors are not against it. His aim is to deliver the Yoruba people from the killer headsmen. Thus, we want you to release him but not to Buhari. Because Buhari's government will only torture him and we don't want him to be tortured. He is our son. We beg of you in the name of God. Airports release Igbo is a good man. Well, this man has not even said what you know would attract people to even be more you know no, uh, furious. He said that they should not torture him because why would they torture him? They should not release it from government because he has done nothing. He has done nothing wrong and he is innocent because Buhari is trying all his possible best, you know, to to capture Igbo the same way he has captured um, Namdi Kano, so that they can, you know, uh, illegally torture him. That's the word that is supposed to be used. You know, to torture him. You don't want to kill Igbo. They want to kill him just because he's defending his people. He's defending the people of the Yoruba. Mm. He said, we the Yorubas are really suffering under this government. Please do not extradite Igbo to Nigeria. We don't want him to be tortured. His agitation is to deliver the Yorubas from slavery. We have been enslaved. We beg you in the name of God, release him. Not to worry, let him be free. Sarah so reporters earlier reported that some Yoruba leaders had rallied support for Igbo following his arrest in Kotonou Bene Republic. Some of the leaders disclosed that there were deliberations on the matter. It was also stated that the lawyers had been mobilized to stop Igbo's extradition to Nigeria. Sahara reporters had also reported how the Yoruba rights activist was arrested at an airport in Kotonou on Monday night. It was gathered that leaders of the Odua People's Congress, OBC, Ilano Odua, and other Yoruba self-determination groups who petitioned the International Criminal Court are involved in the matter. In a copy of the petition sent to ICC, International Criminal Court, other groups involved in the agitations for the Yoruba Nation are Yoruba Strategy Alliance, Igbega Omodua, Isokan Omodua, United Yoruba Kingdom, Egbe Omo Yoruba Odua Foundation, Obin Odua Agbaye, Yoruba Intelligent Group, and Igbimo Omo Ijebu. Among others are Parole, Igbimo Agbagba, Akoni Obiri Odua. Concern Yoruba Omo Odua, Odua Awareness Group, Odua in Diaspora, Afonja descendants of Akpako Yoruba Nation, and Ile Agbara Odua, and Hmm. So many people have given their support to Sunday Igbo just because uh, Sunday Igbo is agitating for uh, secession or division or better still is called is uh, trying to make sure that Yoruba are not enslaved. That is why the Buhari administration is trying all its possible best to arrest him so that uh, those are the agitators in Namdekanu. Uh, Sunday Igbo, they are agitating from uh, from uh, slavery. They want to uh, leave Nigeria just because of the injustice Buhari is meeting 
on the people of uh, the south of Yoruba and the Igbos. They know that if uh, people are aware of the uh, bad governance, they know definitely they, they would suffer. The truth is that the northern people, you know, they are living on, on the uh, southerners. Because they said uh, that time they had uh, issues with uh, the transporting of food, ram, uh, cow, and some other things. They said they would not supply food to the southern, you know, uh, part of the country. But in the long run, after three days, most of their perishable goods started perishing, and they had issues as at that time. So they discovered that ah, they cannot live without the south. That's why they, you know, you know, stopped their uh, uh, campaign for not supplying food to the south meanwhile uh, the southern oil is there they are the more beneficiary or beneficiary to the oil in the south that is why they are very scared and this is this has really shown to the world that it is the northern that are the problem of nigeria yeah northern are the problem of nigeria just because most of them in the north they are also the full and they never wanted them to get education to be liberated that is why they are all timid and poverty has ravaged around uh, the state or the states in the north that's why they are backward and now Buhari is trying off to fulanize the country which is not possible and the southern has really woken up and they are wise enough to know they are left from their right now Igbo and, and Amdekano has not really done anything, especially the Igbo, because I could remember in 2017 when Amdekano they said he jumped to bail. Yes, definitely. He ran for his dear life. He also come a face called trial. And meanwhile, the government have sent uh, soldiers and some unknown government to invade his house 2017 just to kill him. But in the case of Igbo, when the SS went to attack him, they would have killed him if they had met him in the house. Thank God they didn't see him in there. So this government, eh, the International Criminal Court is just watching. The ECOWAS are watching. United Nations are watching. Buhari and his criminal s and his cabal needed to be arrested because this is a breach of fundamental human rights. You have every right to hear your opinion because we are in democracy. You have freedom of speech which uh, it's abandoned uh, in, uh, in in the citizenry, uh, citizenry of nigeria but they deem it fit that anybody that speaks the truth or speak you know, against the government of buhari will be arrested that's what they are trying to do yes that's that that's that, that's that's a plan and the agenda to, to send fulani headsmen to start grazing so that they can you know capture all over the country so when they want to strike they can strike but i also said it that uh, he might leave uh, uh, the presidency seat but he will still want to hold on to power well what are your take what are your thoughts over this i would like you to share your comments in the comment section